Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Get the best value for your buck. Get the best value for your buck. You know what? I talked about uh, in my last podcast on here. I talked about how you can use money to make things happen. But it's important how you spend that money. You want to manage it. And you want to get the best value for your buck. That's very important. I'm going to tell you what. When you buy stuff, do some research on it. Check the reviews on it. You know, don't, and you know, a lot of stuff people might buy because they don't have as much money, it's real cheap, they'll buy it. Like, they'll go to some of these places, these stores and everything, and they'll buy, like, like maybe the cheapest shoes, the cheaper grade of clothes or anything. That happens a lot with uh, certain major stores. I'm not going to give them any advertisement here, right? But, with uh, and what what you'll find is yeah you'll get yeah that nice shirt or shoes or whatever that might be off brand, um yeah, you paid less money for it but then you might have to pay for it four times in a year. You might have to get some new clothes or new something four times and then you end up spending more money. You thought it was cheap. That's not the best bang for your buck the best value for your buck the best value is looking for whether it's clothing whether it's a car whether uh, any like technology computer um television whatever shoot it could even extend to like what gym you go to and shoot what you eat everything you want to get the best value for it you know like you don't necessarily want to spend like the full amount on it either. See, you got to check. Sometimes buying stuff, you got to pay attention. Like and one thing, one thing I found with people who make a lot of money, they don't pay full price for a lot of stuff. Yet they get great stuff. But what they do is they'll look for the sale. Or I remember, you know, this is a lesson I re- really hit home for me when I um, when I was working retail. I had a gentleman come in there. And this dude, this dude, I mean, this dude might have been a millionaire. He was at least six figures, right? He made money out the wazoo. He could buy the most expensive stuff, right? But one thing I noticed about him, he would go, he'd come in the place and go straight to the clearance rack. He'd go straight. If it wasn't on the clearance, he didn't even look at anything else. If it wasn't on clearance or it wasn't a major sale, he, he ain't never come in on those days. <laughs> he ain't never come in on those days. He'd come in when it was a big sale or the stuff had been moved to the clearance racks. You know, that's best value because think about something. Okay, let me use that example, right? Okay, say you got a suit that's on full retail, $700. And, yeah, I know some people are like, well, I paid 1000 Okay, more power to you. But I'm saying I'm using this for an example, right? It's normally $700. Now, somebody might go in and... You know, feel like, yeah, I'm doing something. I'm getting this $700 suit. Yeah, I got this money. Is that the best value? Or is the best value for your buck is to get that $700 suit when it's on sale for $300? Hmm. Think about it. Think about it. Or to, like, they having a sale or something. That's one thing with sales. You know, you getting that expensive thing, but you getting it at a sale price. Which uh, let's be let's be real. Any retail thing, they they still making their money. But it's how you spend your money. Do you want to get the best value for it? Now th- that's like maybe some material thing, like a house. I mean, like clothing, cars, anything. Getting it on sale. But then you also want to think about maybe food that you get. You know, you gonna spend money on food. Now, are you going to spend a whole bunch of money on some bad food? Which, unfortunately, in a lot of poor neighborhoods, a lot of food is bad. Seriously. You know, I would, one of the things, uh, I would actually go out my way. You know, because I remember one time I was living in a more, I say a more working class neighborhood. And I was peeping what they had at the local grocery store. But then I would go out my way to a more expensive neighborhood and what they had in their grocery store. (laughs) be the same food but it actually be honestly it actually be better and cheaper at the more ritzy area (laughs) 
Ain't that some stuff? So I get it from there. Yeah, you driving a few extra miles or something, but you're getting a better bang for your buck, better material. Like when you buy stuff, always look for the best for the price. You know, don't get something just because it's simply cheap because then you might have to get it several times or it might not be good. Like I'm using the example of the, uh, like poor or working class neighborhoods that, you know, they have a lot of stuff, but it's cheap. It's literally cheap. It'll fall apart easily, you know. And also, you know, you, so you want to get the best stuff. And also, too, you want to think, you want to get stuff that can last. Now, one of the things I strongly suggest, if you got to buy something other than some little trinket, like if you want to buy computers or uh, um, cars, shoot, check reviews. Check reviews, you know. And just uh, just as an aside on reviews, you're going to get all types of reviews on something. Check I always check to see, okay, the people who liked it, how many stars does it get? Because I always expect at least some people ain't going to like it. That happens. That happens. And even the people who didn't like it, I'm like, I actually read those reviews first and see what they say specifically. Then I read the better ones and stuff, average ones, everything. Get an idea. Ask some questions. Ask some questions. See, your money's a tool, but how you use that tool. See, I'm going to tell you what. One of the reasons I changed the title of this channel from About That Business to Money Management, a lot of people don't, they don't spend their money well. They don't get the best bang for their buck and for what they need. You know? They don't get the best value. You know, or they might be thinking short term. Sometimes it's better to actually spend more on something because it'll last longer. It's got a good, better quality than getting a cheap version that you got to replace every now and then. Because I've noticed that. You know what? I'll give you a story. Like uh, where I live, um, I've had to constantly replace blinds. <laughs> but the issue was I was paying for... Uh, like inexpensive blinds. Now, if it was now the place I'm living, you know, I don't own it. You know, I'm just renting like a modest apartment right now. All right. And, you know, I'm just like, you know, I don't feel like waiting for it. So I don't spend a lot of money. But if I own the place, I get the best blinds I could possibly get, you know, because they're going to last longer, you know. But, you know, just where I'm at, I'm like, shoot, I ain't giving them all my money. They should be replacing this anyway. I don't feel like waiting for them. But you always want to do that. You always want to say, okay, what's the best value? And, you know, I know the tendency is to get the cheapest thing, but it's not always. I'm going to tell you what I do uh, generally. And just in general, I don't get the cheapest, but I always get the most expensive either. I always look in that middle range. A lot of times that's the best, that's the best value that middle range, and then, of course, I checked the reviews on it, see if they were in complaints or anything about it, uh, recommendations, stuff like that, you know. And, that, and that's for it. food, products, services. You know, if you spend money, like, say, massage service, I haven't used that example. Shoot, you want to know, uh, you know, how long you've been in business, you know. Did you go to that massage, you just found them out of the blue or what they recommended? You know, all right, they done gave you a massage. How does that feel afterwards? Boom. Boom. So whatever the case, though, you always want to be smart with the money. If you got to put out that money, it need to last you. It need, you need to get a bang for your buck, the best value for your buck. All right, because you got to manage that money. You got to use that tool of money properly and you gotta it has to work for you and give you the things that you want to get and the best value for what you want to get all right so y'all know what to do let's go make that money <laughs>